Time has come. Yes. One, two, three. The more Jordan, the Jesus of the Jumba, the words of body, the 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 body,
Page three to the founder, the endowed transcendent destroyer, the one gone beyond, the foe destroyer, the completely perfected, fully awakened being, perfect in knowledge and in good conduct. Lord of the world, supreme God of human beings to be tamed, teacher of gods and human beings, to you, the completely and fully awakened one, the now transcendent destroyer, the glorious conqueror, the secure from the Shakti clan, and prostrate make offerings and go for it. When the supreme among humans, you were born on this earth, you faced out seven strides and said, I am supreme in this world, to you who are wise men and prostrate. With pure bodies, form supremely pure, wisdom ocean like a golden mouth. In the blazes in the three worlds, winner of the best, Lord, to you I promise. With the supreme signs, face like the spotless moon, color like gold, to you I promise. You are immaculate, three worlds are not. In comparison, to the one to you I promise. The Savior having great compassion, the founder having all understanding. We feel the merit with qualities like a vast ocean. To you, the one done the justness and prosperity. The purity which makes one free from attachment. To the virtue which frees one from the lower realm. The one path, the sublime periodic. To that atoma which pacifies and declines. To those who are liberated and who also share the path of liberation. To that holy field qualified with realization. Who are devoted to the moral precepts. To you, the sublime community intending virtue, I prostrate. Do not commit any non virtuous actions, perform only perfect virtuous actions, so do your mind thoroughly. <laughs> this is the teaching of the Buddha. <laughs> Illusion, a drop of dew or a bubble, a dream of flash of lightning, a cloud, see conditioned things as such. Parents may send him beings, attain the rank of all seeing. Subdue the foe of faults and be delivered from some sorrow's ocean, perturbed by waves of aging, sickness, and death. Tanjusambasambachambo, Baba, 
Page 11. Thus I have heard, once the Blessed One was dwelling in Rasgiriha on Vulture Street, together with a great assembly of monks and Bodhisattva, at that time the Blessed One was totally absorbed in the concentration that examines all phenomena called profound illumination. And at the same time, the noble Avalokitesvara, the Bodhisattva, and Bodhisattva was engaged in a profound practice of the wisdom Gandhian, analyzing the five aggregates by nature and then through the inspiration of the Buddha, the Venerable Shari Buddha spoke to the noble Avalokiteshvara, the Siddhis of Ramahasattva, saying, how should those of good family learn wish to follow the profound practice of the wisdom gone beyond? Thus he spoke in the noble Avalokiteshvara, the Buddha replied to the Venerable Shari Buddha, saying, O Shari Buddha, whatever son or daughter of good family wishes to follow the profound practice of the wisdom gone beyond, should look at it like this, analyzing the five aggregates by nature. Form is empty, emptiness is form, emptiness is no other than form, form is no other than emptiness. In the same way, feeling, recognition, relative formations, and consciousness are all empty. Therefore, Shadipra, all phenomena are empty without characteristics. They are unborn and unceasing. They are neither impure nor fruitful. They neither decrease nor increase. 
Therefore, Shadikitra and emptiness, there is no form, no feeling, no recognition, no karmic formation, no consciousness. There is no eye, no ear, no nose, no tongue, no body, no mind. There are no spheres of the elements, of the, no spheres of the mind. There are none of these all the way up to the sphere of mental consciousness. There is no ignorance, nor is there destruction. Ignorance. There are none of these all the way up to there are no old age in death, nor is there destruction of old age in death. Well, thus, there is no suffering, no cause of suffering, no cessation of suffering, and no pain. There is no wisdom, no attainment, no knowledge. Therefore, Shadipatra, because there is no attainment, all what it does is hold to the wisdom gone beyond. And because there is no security of the mind, they have no fear. Passing utterly beyond all cities, they reach beyond the mountains of Shiloh. All the Buddhas who dwell in the three times are relying on the wisdom gone beyond. Fully and clearly awakened to unsurpassed, the most perfect and complete enlightenment. Therefore, the minister of the wisdom gone beyond, the most great insight, the unequal and unsurpassed number, the much of the complex suffering should be known as the truth, for there is no deception. The money of the wisdom gone beyond is proclaimed entirely. Or shall it be done? This is how a practice that during the profound wisdom of the Aunt. Then the Blessed One arose in that concentration, praised the noble of the Tesla, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva, saying, Very good, very good, O son of the family. And it is exactly like that. The profound wisdom of the Aunt should be practiced exactly as you have said. And then the Tesla will rejoice. When the Blessed One has said this, the Venerable Shadipatra, the Noble of the Lord, the first part of the gathering, the one part of the men that took us to spirits, their hearts full of joy, praise the Lord of the Blessed Lord. So in the Noble Discourse on the Essence of the Wisdom Gone Beyond. And then I'm sure you can say that in a lot of something like rich and all that. That rich and all the terms can go off with and say that indeed. That's how you know rich and more love you have that. Sanjuna rich and more love you have that subject in one of the dots or she should just not rich and more love for you have it in the end of Harios now. The love rich and you love you, but in a lot, and it don't have it should be thunder, love them, the butcher's on. So say what you're doing your way in that. Now it is Sunday and we resume the exposition of the Buddha Dharma. The Buddha Dharma presents to us now the opportunity for study, contemplation, and meditation by presenting the text for us to study in the great treatise on the stages of the path to enlightenment. The great treatise on the stages of the path to enlightenment is the significant text that it is, surpassing all others in the sense in which the sutra and the mandra are all clearly expounded in it and through it all practice is made easy it is condensed and complete in all essential points and for this reason only should we choose not to practice will we fail to find success but herein are all means to our success <laughs> ตัดกันจะตรอบบ่ตรอบตรอบอย่างบ่ก่อนจังหวะนั้นนั้นเฉยๆลบจนทุกคนเฉยๆยินน่ะอันนี้เจ็บกันได้จะทําอยู่สํา
<clears throat> so our first study, contemplate and meditate, there must be an original enthusiasm for doing so, which follows from the observation that through study, contemplation and meditation, results will come about that are desirable, such that one becomes enthusiastic to study, contemplate and meditate. And so then one shapes one's intention to study because the understanding that it yields is so important, but the motivation should not be to engage in study, contemplation and meditation to find personal profit in this life and to direct one's energies towards self-interest alone, but to direct one's energy energies to the well-being of others, that one strives for the ultimate achievement, awakening itself to that end, one studies, contemplates, and meditates. Refine your intention in this way. Refining one's intention in this way is critically important. <clears throat> to be preoccupied with trivialities at the outset means that later on one will have to return to the to the important aspects. So don't be occupied with the trivial and postpone the significant. From the outset, occupy yourself with the well-being of others with the assurance that your own well-being will be taken care of in natural course. Is it in Liberation in the Palm of Your Hand or another text? I can't quite recall exactly, but the argument goes like this. You must see your enemy as your most valuable Kalyanamitra spiritual friend. Why? Because from them yielded to you are the, the best results of all. And so I don't re recall exactly the text, but the text exists, and this is the argument there. The final meaning then is why does one undertake any study at all, studying the great treatise on the state of the path to enlightenment? Why does one do it? One does it because of one's interest in contentment. One wishes to achieve contentment and in the great treatise on the stage of the path to en enlightenment, the best method for achieving this is presented. Therefore, one studies this thing. So then one studies the great treatise on the stages of the path of enlightenment and understands it and practices it. And the practice is undertaken in a beginning, in the middle section, and in its conclusion too. Oh yeah, that in an attachado Jovich took none and tumbled in so since there was 
the the teacher himself is apparently uh, forgetting the preliminary practices as well. <laughs> <clears throat> so the names of each of these, uh, the, the uh, <clears throat> I'm not recalling, but but the meaning, uh, they are cleaning your room, arranging the symbols of enlightened body, speech, and mind, obtaining offerings honestly and arranging them beautifully, adopting the seven features, sitting position of Vairachana on a comfortable seat, after which you take refuge, but develop Bodhicitta, etc., petitioning the merit field, the fifth, the fifth, offering the seven limb prayer and the world mandala, Practices that contain all the key points of accumulating merit and self purification. Oh, she ODI <clears throat> what should be no, uh, known here is, is that uh, the offering of the mandala may be included in either the fifth preliminary practice or the sixth counted as member of the fifth 
or the sixth, depending on the style in which one practices. Now, if the mandala offering is included with offering generally, it's counted in the fifth preliminary practice. If it is set apart differently, then it will be in the sixth part, the sixth preliminary practice. Oh, yeah, so the mandala offering, in short, may be included in the offering as part of the fifth preliminary practice or be set apart as the sixth preliminary practice. We practicing in the tradition of the great treatise on the stages of the path to enlightenment included in the fifth preliminary practice as a member of the offering. here then the mandala world offering is included in the offering branch as a branch therein and <clears throat> the reason for this the inclusion of the mandala offering in the offering is by for an illustration imagine petitioning a, a king and before making the petition making one's case for assistance the natural inclusion of a gift to the king as an opening followed by your pe petition so an offering is made to the merit field the visualization of the merit field is the fourth preliminary practice the merit field is the object object of refuge then the purpose the reason for the petition is to acquire all the fundamentals of practice oh yeah that is that 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 means that the means the people that are concerned that kind of knowledge you know that lamb you need shape lamb you talk about the same lamb you need but talk about the getting around you like give it to the soul so so i'm sorry oh this i get that tubby down the top two of you are the image of your race now the mandala is made as an offering in order to develop the realizations of the path in the mind, to develop realization of the path in the mind, one must have an accumulated merit, autonomy. And the best means for that accumulation of autonomy is the offering of world mandala. 
The result that follows from the mandala offering is upon one's awakening, the presence about one of the Buddha field. Oh, yeah, that Nagatoba, Shunyu Neda, Nagatoba, Yamsanani, the Dunyu, never do Nimari Rishin, Major Puguel, and you could have Kellen and your Major Mapuina, and the Ranga, the Dunchi Marty in a Babuji Rayson. For those who have been initiated into the Mandrayana, those who practice the Mandrayana, you have made a commitment to. Making the mandala world offering daily. Should you fail to do so, it isn't a root downfall, but it is a heavy infraction. Oh, did you son? Said all the desert. Tying and made the people the money that taking of the cold made the pure chill carriching it. The pure chill kind of more jishu was his own taco. So she didn't do the rag and shugu or a shuadela. Then she was soon sure your rest and that she would soon. the mandala offering is made to the merit field one petitions the merit the merit field for three great the realization of three great purposes. Different from our worldly purpose, we consider health and wealth and happiness and a long life to be our purpose. But this is a le limited self-interested -interest, sense and not the one intended here. Oh, yeah, that didn't you do the matam? Twenty was soon be done on the Georgia Kurang on the Lambry. Georgia Kurang in all that said they were nice in the man to see Java in us. Georgia Kessant and Gains in Tanado on Georgia Yamnich in Yamina, Georgia Kurang in Yamna lost here your raw. But I would deny that twenty was soon the party to see Yarazana. Ah, I would tell the other two cents in that. Conductor, twenty was soon. Yamnechesamata, うん、<laughs> These three great purposes following the great treatise on the stages of the path to enlightenment and referring in particular to ornament to the throat of the fortunate in which the six preliminary practices are presented in their own right as a form of practice. They're in the ornament to the throat of the fortunate 
This is where I'll look here for the clarity, find the clarity in the three great purposes. And what are they found there? They are to bring an end, first to bring an end to the invalid conceptions of the guru that cause one to disrespect the guru. The second is to produce, develop valid understanding. And third, to eliminate all inner, out, outer, and secret obstructions. Oh,也可以，也可以，是吧？嗯，他那旁边别人那了，自己拿新，对呢，那个色打呢，他新一点出来，新一点出来，多做点，新一了，新一了，亏吧，对吧？他不新一了，亏吧，对吧？新一亏
to fall into destructive friendships, to be in a non-conducive place, to face destitution. Inner hindrances are physical pains, imbalances in the constitutive elements of the body, and poor faculties. Oh, yeah, that's it. 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 <laughs> this is the, the Sutrayana presentation of the three great purpose, purposes. This isn't the Manitrayanas. Oh, yeah, that's not the trade. It's not the thing. Oh, she was not the Yamna Yoga Yina. I mean, that. Now, <clears throat> the three purposes following in the Mantrayana tradition are adjusted slightly, added to. Mm. あの、なるほど。みんなもね。みんなみんな多分よ。なるほど。ああ、いいな。どなたかというとかばしにまとす。うん。ロバタイと言うんですけど、ちょっと、ちょっと、まあ、ただ言うわ。うん。あの、ち
and all other correct conceptions all the way up to and through the state of union of a individual beyond training. <laughs> And the third great purpose is for the elimination of inner, outer, and hidden obstacles to proper conception in the Dharma, <clears throat> which include at the hidden level all discursive thoughts discursive thoughts arising in laxity and in excite and in excitement the whole host of proliferating discursive thoughts that hinder the petition to eliminate the inner outer and hidden obstacles this is the third great purpose oh yeah that's it i think i like that so the three petitions are to eliminate all misguided assumptions, misconceptions, to develop proper conception, and to eliminate all inner, outward inner and hidden obstacles. There's no petition that doesn't belong to one of those three. These three petitions are exhausted because the first petition addresses all conceivable problems and the second causes all realizations and the third is the elimination of any any, any of the conceptions from conceptions misconceptions interfering with guru devotion the misconceptions interfering with shamatha it is the elimination of all external hindrances, internal hindrances, and hidden hindrances, and within all three petitions, between all three petitions, all four truths of the Noble Ones too are contained. Oh, yeah. Then she did some of the Oh, yeah, that did. I mean, JP did some of that, and they gave some of the stuff. As some of the good, I mean, JP was in that. To perform a mandala offering complete in these three petitions is to venerate in the most excellent way imaginable, such that every realization may be swiftly developed every obstacle and hindrance thoroughly eliminated 
in one's practice, then, as a mandala offering, with in the mandala offering, as the sixth preliminary practice, or as, or rather, in the fifth preliminary practice, in either case, included and performed this way, is constructed. Oh, yeah, that cousin Kangu Majeka she did permission is about. Performing the mandala offering. In its least form, will win for one the karma of rebirth as a Brahma. In its greatest form, the mandala offering accumulates for one the merit to acquire the Buddha field around one upon one's enlightenment. Now let's close the door on the fifth preliminary and turn to the sixth, the further petitions which follow the oral instructions made in order to be, to be sure your mental stream has been some sufficiently imbued by your meditations. This is the integration of pith instruction with the mind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for those practicing the six preliminary practices, for those practicing the great treatise on the stages of the path to enlightenment, this sixth preliminary practice is called the practice that opens the gateway to all good. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. La me menga, a rangi juda, so jen, la me menga, the rangi juni, the majevas, a kagasena, and then I'm going to talk about Jetu Marwa. La me menga, la me gishebe, menga, the rangi simbuji, the two, two, the two jivana, the two jina, and then that. The oral instructions of the adepts are to be integrated with the mind, not to be left unintegrated. Their integration is thoroughgoing as water into water. And when this occurs, then the mind becomes well qualified. Oh, yeah. That's it. And they may not be able to do it. You want to have a lot of money. That I don't know. May not be able to do it. That I don't know. That may not be able to do it. That I don't know. 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 That <clears throat> what is achieved through the integration of the 
the pith instruction with the mind through the oral instruction realization is produced as i've said before and the means that ensures that realization is produced based upon the oral instruction is to conceive of the indivisible identity of the deity as the very guru. As I've said, Jetson Kappa, query Manjushri, ask Manjushri, how may I most swiftly develop realization? Manjushri responded, by recognizing the identical essence of the deity, the Yidam, and the Guru and by striving in purification and accumulation. Oh, yes, that's what I mean. 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 That's what the petition is made then to the to the <clears throat> the Guru Yidam deity of identical essence for the swift development of realization. Swift realization comes from the bestowed blessing bestowed by the field. Without the request for the blessing, it is not bestowed. With its bestowal, realization arises. Oh, yeah, that under Rangi Jula Chilev Jula Shuba Shugo Yore, Chilev Shula Shubala, and he Chilev Tobiak and the Sawata or Zella Sawata. Oh, said that that's Sawata Vetilla and it's a Sawata Vetilla, that's Lama, your member Susuka. <clears throat> the request for the bestowal of the blessing is required for the realization to develop in the mind, so the petition must be made. There are there is diversity in the form the petition takes through different lineages. In this tradition of the great treatise on the stages of the path to enlightenment, we refer to the text devoted to this practice, that is, opening the gateway to all good. <laughs> <clears throat> the performance of the petition involves intense faith, intense faith and Clear visualization of the merit field. As the petition is visualized, one is surrounded by all sentient beings. 
The verse reads it this way, O oh, glorious and precious root guru, please sit atop my head on cushions of lotus and moon. In your great kindness, please protect me and bestow spiritual attainments of body, speech, and mind. Oh, yeah, that's a good thing. I could do the more to the third side of it. I'm not saying I'm going to sit down with it. That big time, I'm going to do it. 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 ジョージ、ジョージ、ジョージ、ジョージ、ジョージ、ジョージ、ジョージ、ジョージ、ジョージ、ジョージ、ジョージ、ジョージ、ジョージ、ジョージ、ジョージ、ジョージ、ジョージ
This final line, like uh, and bestow spiritual attainments of body, speech, and mind. This is re repeated twice in order to extend the visualization, in order to extend the object of the petitioning. Oh, yeah, that did be telling you to do some work. And we work at it, you were as an act. That you get so single, that so single, so set up, share why you stay set up and din and that dog, Lama goes on to the town, eh? That's not me was to look at cheat the little. So she's gone on. So she be that Mamushu set up share, what's that? So you set up in a Ganganima, Lama Yi Chen and Digur. ランダスそうだランダスチェランダスチェランダスチェランダスチェランダスチェランダスチェランダスチェランダスチェランダスチェランダスチェランダスチェランダスチェランダスチェランダスチェランダスチェランダスチェランダスチェランダスチェランダス
The reason the replica of Manindra Vajradhara descends to one's crown is to be as one's representative to make the appeal to the merit field to bestow the instruction to instruct in the path to make clear the path this replica of Manindra Vajradhara descends to the crown to request that the merit field show the way from proper practice of guru devotion all the way through the path union on the path of no more training. Oh, yeah, that is that. More the cook, Lama did that. You will lam lava shuaja what did a yam dollar. That carries over as an hour. And it is a two yam dollar. And it's so she named you quiz challenge. So, so the local conduct, so she did Nagara set up your wah. Oh, yeah, so she named it. And a quiz challenge to see the same argum, Mamu Pop. And it rang it joke to get the Lama Lama Timmy, Yemen, Tim Sumsam, but we got your response. ロロロロ。そうそう。うん、ただ、まず、こう、ただ、そうあったら、さるわ。そうあったら、もう、ロボチェージと、ランデニーバジ。ランデニーバジ、ランデニーバジ、ランデニーバジ、ランデニーバジ
bestow spiritual attainments of body, speech, and mind, all of the qualities that have been absorbed into the guru at one's crown, all of the qualities of abandonments and attainments of the merit field, the abandonments are nirodha, the attainments, the realizations are of the path, these two, the cessation and the path in its qualities, descend from the guru at one's crown as nectar into one oneself. The attainments of the merit field, cessation in the path, and all their qualities descending from the, the guru at one's crown into one one's self and into all sentient beings surrounding one. Oh, yeah, that <clears throat> the light and nectar descending from the guru at one's crown fills space and the space it fills the location in which it accumulates is body, speech, and mind of yours. It fills this. The nectar and the light are the expression of the abandonments and realization. And these, as they fill your space, flush out and expel all negativities and all hindrances and obstacles to proper conception. All that hinders that is thoroughly expelled, flushed out by the descent of the nectars and the light. Oh, yeah, that gender. Yeah, come, Jepa, Chang Sadu Zambata, Karcharta, Rangi Sheru Duji, Tanangan, Sajin, Yeling Pumbu, Sheru Duji, Pumbu D. Pata with the descent of the nectar and the light and the flushing away of all negativities and all hindrances, the contaminated aggregates are purified and the contaminated aggregates all negativities and obstructions flushed away becomes luminous and limpid. Oh, yeah. Then, what did 
ติมติมติเจอันนี้ติมติอันนี้อย่างจุยสวาตติอันนี้ติมติอันนี้อย่างจุยสวาตติอันนี้ติมติอันนี้อย่างจุยสวาตติอันนี้ติมติอันนี้
This is the, the descent and purification through nectar and light. Within the, the practices of radiating and recollecting the samadhi being, the commitment being, the wisdom beings, this descent and purification through light and nectar too is involved. And in the elimination of hindrances and in the accumulation of life force and merit, this too is involved. And now, most of the time has passed, and next week we will return to the descent and purification of light and nectar to clarify it further and to actually meditate with it in a review meditation. And now we uh, will do a Q&A. As the Bajangi, and that is the Sidor Mamushi, and several young men, I had known the corner of some Yamin Chiki, the Chichi, the Chichi, the Silk, the Ocean, and 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 the Ocean, Anything that was unclear uh, in the verses and, and the in, in incorporation of uh, the descent and purification of light and nectar, we can clarify. If there's anything that you're uncertain about, uh, we can work it out. Thank you so much, Yeshana, for this teaching, wonderful teaching. Um, just a point of clarification about nectar and light. Um, here, it is the purification. Um, and uh, could it be also both purification and blessing? And sometime, I, if I remember correctly, um, in some commentaries, the light is like, you know, it goes in first, so it um, goes in you, your, your body first. So it purifies the stains, um, the negativity, negativities. And then the nectar follow, um, like the example, Yeshua gave, you know, the light is at the core, and then followed by the, uh, the, 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 the nectar. And so the nectar, um, uh, could be uh, understood like a uh, blessing. Carlos, that the negative key and a Jessica and now a big ending the end in the end that in a double door that and a Titsi Babjan, Tig, Pay, and a Tipa Giants or Terra. You know, and did down chart check and a gin lap, Pavia young and a ご愛で連勝グループチェチェでねねかじゃかじゃじゃばかしらやだってねうううでダンボそうそうだずうちでねてねてねうてねてねてねてねてねてねてねてねてねてねてねてねてねてねてねてねてねてねてねてねてねて
ทางวัชิลาดิชูอันนี้ติติทาบุมิบัชเซตันดาจานทัวตันติติกานติเรสอันนี้ยาเวเซทัวตันเดลาตันดาเจชิตัมเดนมาวาลาเลกเรลาอ
nectar and light descending and purifying, a petition being made over and again, nectar and light descending and purifying, the petition being made over and over again. And within the ornament to the throat of the fortunate, it is opening the gateway to all goodness. <clears throat> The petition is to the lineage gurus of the tradition of extensive practice and to the lineage gurus of the tradition of profound view. The petition is for blessings to fathom Shunyata. The petitions are to the lineage gurus. From the two lineages of extensive deeds and profound view, the blessings of knowledge and of love are bestowed, these two, wisdom and love, are indispensable to the extrication of sentient beings from the mire of cyclic existence. There will be no inclination to extricate sentient beings from samsara without love, and no means for the extrication without fathoming shunyata. So both are petitioned for. <laughs> To, to protect a child, there must be love for, ch for the child. Without any love for the child, there's no desire to protect them. There'll be no desire to protect them. One may have a love for the child, but without knowing the life of the child, there's no way to protect the child. For the love of sentient beings, the petition to the lineage of extensive deeds, which is the wisdom, which is the method aspect. It is the aspect of love for sentient beings. The profound path, the lineage of the profound path is for knowing the life of sentient beings. These two, both are required. The love for sentient beings and the understanding of the life of sentient beings known from the blessing of the lineage of extensive deeds and of the profound path. Oh, and next week, more information on the descent and purification of nectar and light will be provided. We'll gain clarity, further clarity, and if there are other questions, we can take them.
Yeah. Um, I have a question about the like, intention with um with offering. So I found myself making the intention of you know visualize the merit field, make the offering, and the intention is made the activities of the Buddhas increase for the benefit of all beings. And so I was maybe asking for clarity. Is that sort of that's my understanding of the purest Mahayana intention? Um, and also any advice about how to maybe grow that intention or grow faith in that intention? Then <laughs> This intention is very pure, and there are many ways to increase it further. What especially prevents an offering from being an offering in actuality is the interference of your own acquisitiveness, your own graspingness, which reduces the efficacy of the offering. So to have as your intention this pure intention and to make sure that acquisitiveness does not creep in is one means to furthering the intention. No, there's this example of, of a, a thought process that, that contaminates an offering. An offering is made, and one imagines the Buddhas are delighted by it, and that one receives the rewards of it. Imagining this to have transpired, then one feels a sense of accomplishment. And the accomplishment, a sense of accomplishment and pride comes by way of one's acquisitiveness, which defiles the offering. But to make the offering, to have the, the pure intention underlying the offering, and then to make the offering with a, a mind that is very clear ensures that it is an offering. <laughs> Chibakusen 
Hani cidda ki köy kogar. Çünkü zamanda köy yakışıyor diye karsına. Hani kulum abdur sana yine ne diyecek ki çabat sana çağırıyor. O diye ki çabar diye sonuç. When you make an offering of whatever substance, food or flowers to the Buddha, a representation of the Buddha, for instance, recognizing that the Buddha makes no distinction in the quality of the offering, makes no distinction between substances that are better or worse. There's no such a distinction to the mind of the Buddha, in which case, understanding that to be so, one's objective would be rather to gain in one's own merit and autonomy by virtue of making the offering, not to be occupied by the quality of what one is offering with an Im imagined notion that the Buddha responds to that, but instead occupied solely by the endeavor to accumulate merit and autonomy, which is ensured, that accumulation which is ensured by just how well shaped and refined the intention is involved in that offer. I just want to make sure I'm clear. I mean, this one mentioned the five lineage holders. Did he mean uh, for visualization? Does it does he mean Maitreya? Um, Manjushri, Asanda, Narvajina, and Atisha? Uh, then, uh, and, uh, Lama, Lama de Ma, Lama de Ma, you're wrong. Did Lama de Ma, Lama, and uh, 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 Jet and Jamba Gumbo down, and then uh, Jamba Yang down, and it's all made down, and the Gumbo Lurup down, and the Atisha. Rebe, Ani diyor. Çünkü mondo gibi Lamen 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 gibi diyor. Ani rahatla mondo çünkü tabi ki lama desin lama demek. Ani şey bu diğer ne? Gibi lama. Gibi lama. Gibi lama se. Ani rahatla da rahatla mondo çünkü gibi ki lama diyor. O diye nasıl is? No, these are the five. They are the five of the. First, the lineage of extensive deeds of bodhicitta, principally. The lineage of profound view, principally of shunyata. The lineage that is the, bless, the blessed integration of these two into one, descending from Vajradhara in the beginning. The lineage of the guru lineage, or one's lineage, lineage lamas, fourth, and the fifth, the lineage of those gurus upon whom one has relied directly in this life. Huh? <laughs> Did that address your question? Yes, thank you, Kish. I missed that. I you know, I'm not sure. There's a couple minutes left. Then. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. 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 In an attack on the Rangi Lama don't want Denga, that's done on the don't want Denga, that's a good Lama Gubek, don't want Denga. That's an Indian nature to somebody, don't want Denga, so the shoe car at the little one. That told it, 
ตามมาดูตามดูโซชินเซตาวิดูโซชินนางลามาตัวเดนาเซตาวิรัวเดนาโซดีก็ลางกิชินจงโมโตดีลามาตีดีดีเจอันนี้เชมบาติกิติกัน
From my two collections, vast is faith, but at a mass, from working with effort in this practice for a great length of time, may I become the chief leading Buddha for all those whose mind brings the mind blinded by ignorance. Even if I do not reach this state, may I be held in your loving compassion for all my life, my ministry. May I find the best of the path of the complete teaching. And may I please all the others for practicing. Using skillful means drawn by the strong source of compassion. May I clear the darkness from the mind of all beings. With the point of the path that I have discerned them. May I hold with this teaching for a very long time. With my heart coming out with great compassion. In whatever direction the most precious teaching I have not yet spread or once spread have declined. May I not for this treasure of happiness to it all comes in being. May the minds of those who wish for liberation be granted bounty of peace, and the Vatana seed be nourished for a long time by following the complete graduated path of enlightenment and the wondrous virtuous conduct of the Vatas and their son. May all of you be the not human beings that have limited adversity. To make things conducive for practicing the excellent paths, never departed in any of their lives from the purest path created by the Buddhas. Whenever someone makes up his way in the course of the temple of my own may he always be assisted by the mind of the creation of his person. Dagi jinye zabe ye wan di tena go wa kun la kun din. Good, <laughs> I dedicate whatever virtues I've ever collected for the benefit of the teachings and of sentient beings, and in particular for the essential teaching of Venerable Lozan Drapa Vishan 
in the land of Strickle by Sir Mount, you are the source of all happiness and good. All powerful genius in India, please remain until cyclic existence is ended. Just as the brave Manushri and Samantha Bhattu realize things as they are, also I dedicate all these merits in the best way that I may follow their perfect example. I dedicate all these roots of virtue with a dedication praised as the best by the victorious thus gone ones of the three times so that I may perform the noble Bodhisattva's deeds. May the supreme jewel of Bodhisattva that has not arisen and arise and grow, and may that which has arisen not diminish but increase more and more. Thank you, you're very kind. Oh, 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 just now I've remembered the title of this fifth, uh, this fifth preliminary practice, which is, which is the, the integration of purification and accumulation in the practice of <laughs> with, with the with the integration of the seven branch Anuttara Puja and the Mandala World Offering. <laughs> Thank you.